Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole through your exterior wall and install a pellet or wood stove wall thimble. The first thing we need to do is find out where to place the pipe on our wall. I had my stove sitting here and we took a pipe and hooked it up and we found out where we needed to place our pipe we marked the top of it and the side. Now this is a four inch diameter pipe on the outside. So we just measured two inches in and two inches down and that gave us dead center on our pipe. And then we took our wall thimble and we measured this. This is I believe seven inches. So we measured from the direct center three and a half inches up and three and a half inches out placed this on the wall and then just made a trace around it. And that is gonna give us our cutout area for our wall. Now before you guys even go ahead and mark this stuff up, make sure that you're not putting this cutout near a wall stud. I have a stud coming right down here by this electrical outlet. My next one is over here at the corner. So I am within my wall stud bay make sure that you're not placing this where you're going to have to cut into a wall stud. You don't want to do that. You're going to cause yourself a lot of problems. So right here is in between a wall stud bay and we go ahead and cut this out. You can either take a utility knife and cut this out or we're going to use a roto zip and just zip this out. Now that we have our drywall out, we can go ahead and cut out our insulation with our utility knife. You can see right here is our stud that we were close to. Um, we're going to miss that and we just kind of pushed up the insulation kind of out of the way and now we need to be able to find the dead center of this and make a hole in it. Okay, so what we can do is we can take a pencil, lay it in here flush, make a mark on the bottom, come over here to the side, do the exact same thing, and then just measure over three and a half inches and up three and a half inches, that'll give us dead center, and then we can put a hole through the outside wall. Now for the outside part. Um, we had a electrical panel here that was old, um, I kind of thought we were going to get into this, so I had to end up taking it off. So all we did is we drilled through, here's our through hole, and here is our square where our, where our thimble is going to fit through. So all I did was take this and trace it out, and we're going to cut into our siding to put it here. We're going to have to get some more pieces and fill this back in. You guys can put this on the outside and not cut this off. I've done that before. All you need to do is do some caulking on the back if you don't want to get cut into this and have to do trim pieces. It's a lot easier, but since we already have this hole out for that old meter, we're going to go ahead and cut this out so this is flush into the wall, and then we're going to put some trim pieces of siding around it. So now you can see that this will fit in here nicely up against. Again, we're just going to have to get some trim pieces and put it around this. So once we have this centered up, um, center that hole that we drilled through the wall, centered up with this thimble, and then you can just go ahead and then trace out around this, and that will give us our cut hole for the outside. You can see here we've marked out for our thimble with our paint pen. This is our center hole here, and this is what we're gonna be cutting out. Now that we have our hole cut, all we need to do is take the outside piece, slide it through, And this part is set in. There's four holes here where you can screw it in and hold this into place. And then we'll head on inside. 
Now that we have our outside piece on, we can go ahead and slip this one into it. And then all we need to do, there's four uh, screw holes just like outside, screwed into your drywall, and that will fasten this one in place. And that is it for your thimble installation. You can run your three inch pellet stove pipe right through this and not have to worry about um, anything combusting because you have at least a one inch gap in here. Okay, so this is the very final finished product. We ended up replacing two pieces of siding and put in some J-channel. This exterior piece fits in there really nice. Um, I kind of like this finish a lot better than just putting it over top of the siding, which I've done before, and then just caulked along the sides. It fits flush, it fits nice. Um, it does get you into a little bit of siding, which was kind of a pain cutting this out and making sure the pieces fit and getting your J-channel in, but I think it does look a lot nicer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.